Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, today I'm going to go through how to set up a multi-monitor um, layout. This is my Surface Go over here, and this is my Surface Pro 7. So um, I just started doing this, and it's really cool and works really well. I've got um, two tablet holders, uh, one right here. This is my main one that I really like. It's a tri-arm setup, so it bends uh, three... I can't do that with my hand. It bends three different directions. Um, and this one is a dual arm uh, setup for this one. And that doesn't really matter. But I'll, I'll put links to both of these in the description. Uh, the one I like, three arm one I like, the two arm one, and not a big fan of. Uh, either way, it works. So uh, Surface Go up here, I had to actually uh, install a couple different things in order to get this to work. And I, I reformatted mine in order to do this. And, uh, okay, so actually this is because I'm doing this. Um, let's see. Up oh, here it is. Uh, connected to my Surface Go. Option to disconnect. Optimize the connection for... Let's bring this down. So we can see it. All right, so optimize my connection for uh, right here for gaming. It's definitely my preference because you're getting a lot less lag. Um, pin, this allows you to hide it automatically or keep it open automatically. Uh, this doesn't do anything when it's pinned. When it's not pinned uh, and you go here and click on it, it will hide it. Um, and that's the basics for this part. So as far as getting this set up, uh, what you need to do, let's go into Windows Settings. And uh, we're going to go to Home, System, Projecting to this PC. This is what we're going to do on the Surface Go. I'm going to demonstrate it here on the Surface Pro 7 because that's where I have the camera set up. Okay, so when I first did this on the Surface Go, it actually said, this feature is not installed, you need to install it. And so it gave me an option to install the feature. It says wireless, dis I think it's wireless display. And uh, you have to install it. It didn't work even when it was installed. So I actually uninstalled it from the list here and reinstalled it. And then it worked. Uh, I choose available everywhere. You can do it available on secure networks. Uh, first time only is when it's going to ask me for a pin or ask for permission, ask for a pin if you require it. And this is uh, to disable this feature if you're not plugged in. Uh, keep that off just because uh, you definitely want to be able to do this anytime you decide. All right, so that said, in order to do this, you're going to go over here, swipe in and choose connect. And I have this set up here, allow mouse keyboard and touch. Um, projecting to this, uh, so let's go ahead, we're just gonna, gonna disconnect. You can see here, this is going back to its original display. This is my um, Surface Go running as a Surface Go. Okay, so I'm going to select here. You can see it doesn't show my device by default. So I was having a hard time finding this over here. Uh, so I actually um, plugged this, the Surface Go in to see if that would make any difference and it found it easier that way that may or may not be a thing all right so we're just going to select surface go display and it's going to connect and so now we have the second display over here now there's a couple things that you want to keep in mind um, by default it's going to do a couple weird things so we're going to go to uh, project uh, make sure that you set this to extend that's important and then right click here on the desktop, choose display settings. And here, this is going to make a big difference. So I have my monitor over here, which means that when I bring my pointer over, it's going to go, you can see actually this is down here and this is up here. So in order to fix that, we can bring this down. Is that closer? Oh, we have to hit apply. There, and now we're, we're going almost almost one-to-one -one from display to display. 
Okay, now up here, let's make sure this is set to gaming to reduce lag. That seems faster to me. And uh, if, if you have, some, sometimes it'll adjust the scaling, which I actually don't prefer. Uh, what this means is that we're using this as the main display, unfortunately, instead of the Surface Pro 7 as the main display. So we're going to click on this, make this my main display. And let's see, there we go. And this is set back up to the right um, scale and layout, 200% and the full resolution here. Now, Tablet Pro, you can see over here, this is also um, the wrong size because of the scaling issues. So we're going to have to actually click this again. A lot of little extra steps, but now we should have it set up correctly. Uh, one additional thing to note here, if I uh, share, let's just go ahead. We're going to unpin this so that hides automatically. I'm going to bring this over here. Open it up. So we play a video. And hit enter and paste. All right, so we have the audio is playing on the Surface Pro 7. If I want the audio playing over here, then what I actually need to do is go back here and go into my settings here where it says speakers. If I click on this, it says speakers. I can choose digital output Surface Go. Now when I play this video, That's really cool. Let's test it out. You can see the audio switch to uh, coming out of the Surface Go. Um, so that's basically how you do all of this. Uh, having the two monitors up, I think, is really cool and really useful. So if you guys like this video, uh, thumbs up. Um, giving special thanks out to Sean Ong, who did this uh, similar content uh, about a year or two ago. Uh, Sean, you're awesome. He's a good friend. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, you guys stay creative and have a wonderful day.